Average people see money through the eyes of emotion. Rich people think about money much, much, much more logically. And so an ordinary, smart, well-educated, or otherwise successful person can instantly transform into a fear-based, scarcity-driven thinker whose greatest financial aspiration is to retire comfortably. And that's what you've been groomed, I would say, to think. The education system has done a very, uh, has done a very good job of teaching you how to react to fear levers so that we can keep you just where you are. And when I say we, I'm, I'm saying like, it's not even intentional. It's not like the rich are like intentionally trying to suppress the poor. They're not trying to do that. It's just inherent. It's just, it's natural. And it's like, you know, you can, you can tell someone the well's over here, but generally speaking, most people won't go to it. And so we put like the world has put processes in place to maintain and assist the average type thinking, the average type uh, uh, mentality, but it's really groomed and raised inside of itself. Like the rich haven't gone in and said, hey, we're going to create the education system uh, this way. No, the average person has done that. The rich haven't gone in and said, hey, we're going to change uh, the type of books and entertainment you read. It's like, no, the average person's done that. They've, they've created their own self-fulfilling nightmare. And it's really about how they're thinking about money. And if you watch the markets, if you watch the stock market, you watch uh, any type of financial market, what you'll actually see is it's mostly driven by the, by and through the eyes of emotion. And like what majority of people are influencing that? It's the average person. And so the rich know that. They know emotions driving the market. They know fear is driving the market. They know greed is driving the market. And so they're there just hovering, waiting for the Sign, waiting for the, the the moment to pull the trigger to exponentially grow their wealth while the everyone else is freaking out while everyone else is letting the the influences of the world drastically impact the decisions that they're making about their life specifically in, around how they spend their money how they invest how they how they uh support others with money how, maybe how they uh grow businesses or don't but it's really it's really through the eyes of do you see things through the eyes of fear do you see that through the eyes of your emotions how you feel or do you see things through the eyes of logic. And I'm not saying you guys, you, you got to get like, I'm not saying the rich don't do this. The rich don't have, they're not like immune to not having fear. They're not like fearless. Like I, they all have insecurities. They all have uh, things around even money, even wealth that doesn't work for them, but they know how to put it in check. They're, they're just more uh, trained around get, putting their emotions and fear into check and having a plan that when things were clear, right, those things were running that they, they knew what to do and they did it anyways. The world class sees money for what it is and what it's not through the eyes of logic. The great ones know money is a critical tool that presents options and 